Now, one of my main objectives with this build was to not have to drill any holes into the kayak if I don't have to. Uh, I was able to accomplish that for the most part with the exception of one tiny hole that I had to drill right here, but I'll get to that here in a little bit. For the electronics, I have an H-rail across the front with Tim Percy brackets and two Garmin 106 SV units with live scope. The entire system is controlled with a Yak Power 8-channel system right here that's mounted on a Hobie Universal plate. All the wiring goes into the hole through these one objective rod holder delete plates and Yak Attack through hole plugs. The entire system, as far as navigation lights, live scope, graphs, camera, my phone, are all powered with this Z-Pro 50 amp battery. Uh, for my seat, I have two kayak cushions with a Burley Pro side bro that I keep my phone in. And for storage, I have this Yak Gadget six box storage system called six 3700 boxes. And I really like moving my tackle under the seat because it gives me the opportunity to utilize my crate for other things in this situation better. Lighting, I added these button lights to the through hole plugs yet again with the theme of not having to drill holes. I just utilized the existing holes that Hobie had already drilled through to add my lighting to. And I have one on each side. Right here, I have my scissors and pliers. They're both tethered right next to me, so I'll never lose them. Right here, I have my Torquedo controls. They're mounted on a Hobie Universal plate on the H-Rail and a Anchor Wizard with a carabiner attached to this. Uh, this is a really great thing to have. I attach conventional anchors, claw anchors, fish grips when I need to stage a fish. This thing really comes in handy. For my crate, I have a Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. This is the 13 by 13 model. It holds eight rods and primary use is to keep all my batteries. Inside I have my Torquedo battery, my Z-Pro 50 amp battery that controls the trolling motor, and a two bank charger. All of the wiring for this goes through this conduit right here into the transducer hole so I didn't have to drill any additional holes into the kayak. On the back I have a boat port that I have a Yolotech, Yolotech Navlite power stick attached to. And the beauty about this thing is it powers my camera, my nav light, and my phone because it has these little USB ports in it. And all I have to do is plug it in and it's good to go. All right. On the back, I have a one objective mounting plate that has a micro power pole and my Torquedo 1103 attached to it. The 1103 is run to an extension cable that goes into the crate so I can quickly disconnect it right here and take the motor on and off. On this side, I have another anchor wizard that's attached to the Torquedo. And the way it works is I just do three cranks. It's up and I lower it like that. Really clean, simple. It's been a great solution so far. Right, and this is one of my favorite systems on this boat. This is my live scope system. Uh, this here, mount right here, I purchased a bunch of the parts off of Amazon or had laying around. This is a catch plate right here. This is a Sniper Marine sniper pole. And the thing I love most about this system is looking at a lot of the existing live scope systems out there, a lot of them you have to either take it out and put it in the boat when you move or you got to articulate a ram ball and some people use levels. But the way this thing works is to deploy it, I rotate it down, able to use it. When I'm ready to move, I rotate it back up. Simple, easy, don't have to mess around with it and it works great. And right here next to the seat, I have my catch board and it's tethered right here. So the beauty about the PA-14 is that the 32 inch catch model fits right across your feet so you can keep it low and keep the fish from flopping out. And lastly, uh, the little hole that I was talking about at the beginning runs to the foot pedal of the trolling motor and I have it run right here to the kickstand which I have never used on a PA-14 before. So the way it works is when I pull it right here it engages the foot pedal right there, and I have this lever right here to pull it up. So everything works really easy and seamless. So that's my 2023 tournament rig. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my socials, Nathan Chanulak at Facebook or Instagram. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.